In this lesson, we'll focus on sketching our final action pose. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we jump right on to sketching out our final action pose, once again, I just want to show you the final kind of sketch for um, the last pose that we worked on, which was that punching action pose. So for all of the final versions of these different uh, sketches that we work on, just look for the extension end. Um, that way you can see where I've just kind of tightened up the, the sketchy line work just so you guys can see it with just a little bit more visual clarity. And of course, all of the layers associated with the final sketch will still be there as well. So I thought this one turned out to be a lot of fun. So our final action pose may be probably my favorite one of all the ones that we'll do. I want to kind of have her uh, leaping kind of in the air. So she's kind of jumped in the air. She's leaping, kind of flying through the air, if you will. Um, with her arms raised up, we're going to incorporate her sword once again. So she's going to be kind of pointing her sword in the direction that she's kind of leaping towards and maybe have a leg kind of kicked out as well. So really fun action pose. So we'll begin to kind of think about just some very simple lines of action to kind of lay the framework or the, the groundwork uh, of this entire pose. So just kind of thinking about this, kind of starting again just with a nice kind of curved line, kind of thinking about where the top of the head might be up there, kind of coming down through, kind of through the torso, and maybe down to where the kind of the crotch area is. So um, if there's, we're going to probably have some compression somewhere here in this particular action if she's kind of leaping in the air and maybe um, kind of kicking one leg out. So something maybe like that. We'd have another leg kind of brought in. Something kind of like that. So just real loose, flowing, curving lines. Again, um, I try to have a lot of curvature to these lines because... Um, there's a lot of movement to the body, even in a even in a static state. There's a lot of flowing lines, but this will allow us to really hit the ground running, getting some nice movement, um, especially in this pose. Now, for a pose like this, it'd be hard to have one, have someone just remain stationary for you, acting it out. So, um, you'd probably want to have them actually, you know, leap in the air, um, holding a prop of some sort, maybe take some pictures, or even watch some different movies, anything with like ninjas in it or something like that would be um, a plus. Kind of thinking about where the kind of shoulder line is right there, kind of coming across. And as I mentioned, I want to have kind of her her arms kind of raised up, holding this sword, just kind of right above, above maybe her, her brow line if we can. So um, kind of coming off of that, kind of thinking where that back arm could be, maybe kind of coming up right there, um, just kind of those two arms raised up. And then right off of those arms, we could have another kind of strong line of action just for the sword right there. And so um, the head might kind of think about it being right about there. Just kind of dropping in my reference lines for uh, just kind of different uh, facial attributes. So um, her body, um, if we're kind of following this, this, this kind of flowing line of action right here coming through the torso might have kind of a shape where, kind of a triangular shape, somewhat of a triangle anyway, a shape kind of like this. I'm thinking about, you know, kind of that breast kind of po poking out, kind of right there towards uh, the side just a little bit because, again, we're going to have kind of some some uh, kind of twerking to the, the upper torso there. We're going to have um, a lot of compression kind of right right in here, I think, especially if we kind of come off now, kind of trying to establish kind of the another shape for kind of the waist and kind of pelvic area. Something like that might be appropriate. So again, we want to kind of pinch it kind of right in here. She's going to be kind of bringing, um, bringing her body up kind of like that. And so we're going to have a little bit of compression right in here. Um, because she's trying to balance out her weight, especially if she's kicking out a leg, for example. So just kind of dropping in some quick shapes and joints for the leg as well, just kind of thinking about it kind of extending outward. So something like that. So again, you want to think about, you know, just having that, that balance um, to the entire form. 
Um, that way it doesn't feel lopsided. It doesn't feel like she would be um, falling back um, or, or anything like that. And that's why we have this leg over here the way um, it's going to be kind of tucked up more. Again, she's trying to um, keep her balance as she flies through the air. So just kind of thinking about those joints and kind of that foot right there as well. So just kind of looking at this, I feel like we've already got just a lot of energy that we're starting to capture. I want to kind of clarify these arms just um, a little bit more. Again, I want them to kind of be raised. And so we would have probably this arm right here, this hand right here, we'd probably be seeing like the back side of it, right? And then this one right here, we'd probably see maybe the the front of it because you don't want her holding the sword with with um, both hand positions being the same. Okay, it'd be just really uncomfortable, um, just really really unnatural. And we're gonna have kind of a slight foreshortening, I would think, for this this back arm right there um, that's coming kind of off the uh, other side of her body there. Okay, especially if her, her body is kind of angled more kind of around that way. So we're going to have just some slight foreshortening right there with that arm, a little probably a little overlapping um, right there. But um, already we've got a, a lot of strong movement that um, I, I feel like it's all going in that direction right there. And so um, at this point, again, with... with um, the, these poses, when you're working out these, these very simple rough shapes, this is where you can start to come in and make sure that you want to tweak anything that you want to tweak at this point um, in your process. So this leg, for example, if I wanted to maybe raise it up a lot more, um, you know, if I were doing this traditionally, I could just erase it, maybe kind of um, change that line of action. Or if you're working in Photoshop, you could grab your lasso tool, make a selection, right click within that selection, and go to free transform you can take that pivot point right there and you can maybe raise kind of raise where you'd want that leg to be um, if you wanted to bring that up a little bit more so little things like that again you want to um, nail down your entire pose at this point um, where everything's very rough and loose that way you don't have to worry about making a whole ton of changes having to adjust a lot of details um, in trying to do that later on when you started to incorporate the the skirt and all of the other attire. So just kind of, you know, reiterating that, that concept that I have been um, kind of throughout the course. Um, just keep it very loose at this stage. Don't worry about any kind of muscle structure, any kind of details at all. Just be real loosey-goosey with it. And again, um, if you're looking at a reference, just break it down. Look for those simple lines that flow through major portions of the body and just kind of connect them together. And then everything after that is just placement, looking at different body forms, seeing it as a simple shape, okay? So if it's like an arm, kind of a tubular or rectangular shape, and just placing those accordingly. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the course, um, if you're kind of struggling with um, kind of proportional issues, anything like that, um, we've got some courses available in our library, um, especially if you're drawing females. I, I've got a course um, where we kind of talk about just very basic female um, surface anatomy and proportions. We don't get overly granular, granular with um, definitions of muscles or anything like that, but we uh, basically have some lessons there where you can um, easily um, understand just basic proportions of a female body. So maybe check that one out as well.